Summer vacations are coming to an end, but no one had a worse trip than SUNY Williams and Butch Wilmore. The NASA astronauts were supposed to spend just eight days in space. Well, now NASA says they'll be there until February. Forced to wait at a SpaceX craft after the Boeing Starliner had a series of problems. Mark Strassman has more on this extended mission. NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew 9 next February. NASA's decision switch spaceships and space companies mid-mission. Ignition. Back in June, astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams flew to the International Space Station on Boeing Starliner. But now they'll fly home next February in a SpaceX Crew Dragon. Despite Boeing's insistence, Starliner is safe to fly them back. You know, it's disappointing that, uh, that they're not coming home on Starliner, but that's okay. It's a test flight. NASA spent weeks analyzing issues Starliner developed on its flight to the ISS, specifically helium leaks and the overheating of small maneuvering thrusters. That propulsion system's critical to the return flight home, including undocking and the braking burn on the return to Earth. The small engines need to fire hundreds of times to keep the spacecraft in the precise orientation for safe re-entry and on-target touchdown. Instead, Starliner will return uncrewed next month. There was just too much uncertainty in the prediction of the thrusters. It was just too much risk with the crew. In a statement, Boeing said, we continue to focus first and foremost on the safety of the crew and spacecraft. We are executing the mission as determined by NASA. But NASA's decision is bound to frustrate the legacy aerospace giant in what the space agency admitted was a dramatic change. So how now do you begin to rebuild that relationship of trust? with Boeing. Oh, I don't think we're, we're rebuilding trust. I think we're looking at the data and we view the data and the uncertainty that's there differently than Boeing does. What is certain, Wilmore and Williams will spend another six months at the ISS. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Houston.